Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So over the past several months we have been working out here in the kitchen just doing a nice makeover here and just getting it a little more cozy. So if you remember we had parts one and two where we went ahead and just painted all of the walls. We did this really pretty accent wall over here in the dining area and we painted that our dried thyme color just this nice cozy calm green color we also added some accents to the wall just to give it a little more character and then we finished off with adding some new peel and stick backsplash and we even added a new light over the dining room table all in all i am super happy with how everything turned out we have been loving the new kitchen and just enjoying it it feels so much more cozy and we are just loving this space one thing that I was hoping I would not have to do is paint the cabinets. The cabinets that we have are kind of in rough shape the way they are. And if you've ever painted cabinets before, you know how much work is involved in painting the cabinets. And I thought they're really not worth the extra work to paint them. Eventually we'll want to renovate the kitchen, get new cabinets anyways. Um, so I thought I would just try to leave them. And I think the colors that we chose for the walls look really well with the cabinets they complement them well and so i thought everything turned out really well like i had envisioned and yeah we're super happy with how everything turned out there were a few things that i was just not able to get on the videos um, just time wise it just didn't happen and i wasn't quite sure which direction i wanted to go with a few things um, so over the next couple days, I will just take you along with me as we finish up some of those areas. Um, the first one being over here in the dining room. There's no curtains, as you can see. Um, so we want to fix that, get some really pretty curtains hung up. Um, and I have those ordered. A lot of the things I have ordered, I'm just waiting on them to get in. Um, so as they get in, we'll just kind of be finishing out the kitchen completely um, to what my vision was when I first started this. So I hope you enjoy this video and come along with me as we kind of get the finishing touches on our kitchen. So to start out this morning, this was a Saturday and we're gonna start off the morning with eating a good breakfast. So we're just getting that done and I'm gonna fry up some bacon and just make a nice breakfast for us on this morning. Now, as I am filming this, this was filmed before the holidays, uh, back probably in the fall. Um, it's just one of those videos that I just haven't got uploaded yet. Um, so you'll see a little itty bitty Weston. Um, it's kind of fun to look back and see him, um, how much he has grown since then. So yeah, this video has been a process and it just hadn't, hasn't been uploaded yet. Um, the holidays kind of came and went and so here we are. But I thought you might find this interesting, even though you've probably seen the changes here and there in my previous videos um, since we have done this, but I thought I would upload this for you anyways and just show you um, the progress that we did since our first renovation um, makeover of the kitchen. So after I had the bacon fried, we fried some eggs and I also crisped up these English muffins for us. Just make some nice breakfast sandwiches and then we're going to just go ahead and fix each one with our breakfast items. The bacon, the egg, and of course a slice of cheese. So here is breakfast, our fuel for the day to get us started with a few projects here in the kitchen. And the first one being removing this centerpiece here above the sink. We wanted to add a light here and it just looked a little strange that since we removed that little railing that was above the kitchen cabinets, um, this just opened it up and made it look a lot better. And then next we had to go up into the attic to um, get our next holes drilled for the next lights that we're doing. We had to find our markers up here where we had marked from the downstairs. Um, so we're going to find those to know exactly where we want to drill the holes. 
and this one was pretty close to a ceiling joist as well as the wall so we are drilling it from up here in the attic and this is the light that will be going above the sink it'll be so nice to have a light above the sink um, especially in the evenings And then over here above the bar area, there was one light here, but it was off-centered and it really bothered me. Um, so we're going to put a second light in here and then this will make so that the two lights um, together are even and centered above this bar area, um, above the oven here. And it'll add another extra light here, so that'll work out perfect. So I drilled the hole for that second light, making it um, centered, and then we'll just wire from the light that was there over to the new light um, to keep them on the same switch. And then once we have the electrical part of it done, we can hang up our lights and these lights are just a little bit more our style and they're all matching so there'll be two over here above the oven and then the one above the sink they'll all look the same And while I was working on the light above the oven here, uh, Lamar was working on the one above the sink and we got those done. So here are our lights all done. They work perfectly. And then we got a package dropped off um, and this is another exciting addition to the kitchen that I think will look good and that is a couple bar stools for over here um, at the bar area and I really liked how these looked I thought the wood would go really well with the kitchen so we're gonna go ahead and put these together I got three of them Okay, so I think those are definitely a win. I like them so far, and I really think the wood on these goes really good with the walls over here. I think the colors go really nicely, and it should blend in um, really good in the kitchen here. They swivel, um, so they should be perfect for over here at the bar. All right, so on to the next project. Next, I am just taking the curtain rods out into the yard and giving them a fresh coat of paint. I'm just painting them black and they were kind of scratched up. So just to freshen them up a little bit, getting them ready for our new curtains. Now that I have our curtain rods repainted, they're right here. So I let them dry uh, really well. And these are actually some that I made um, a couple years ago already. They're just made out of PVC pipe. And of course they have the connectors there for the ends. And I just fit them into our bay window here. Um, so yeah and just painted them black so that they look like metal and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get our brackets for our windows, probably just use the same ones that I had, and get those hung up. I want to measure our curtains um, and make sure that uh, they're going to be the right length because I want them as close to the floor as I can get them, um, but we'll see. I'm going to measure them really quick here. 
And here are the curtains that we got for the window. Um, they're a little more um, warmer colored than what the others were. If you remember the others that we had were like a really bright white. Um, I like those really well with uh, the dark walls that we had. But now that the walls are a little lighter and a little warmer, I thought maybe we should go with a little warmer of a curtain over here. So these have a little bit of a pattern on them. Um, and I thought these would look really good here in the windows. So we're gonna go ahead and measure measure how tall they are and make sure that our measurements are right before we go ahead and hang up our curtain rod. All right, so the curtains are not quite as long as I um, would like them to be, but um, when I ordered these, I remember now I ordered the 84 inch and the next size up was like 96 inch and I thought I'd have to like cut some off and kind of rehem it and stuff. So I thought we could make this work and I think one thing I'm gonna do to add a little bit of length is to take out this hem here at the bottom and just open this up, that'll, that'll give us a couple more inches there. Um, so that would make these 86 inches. So we're gonna try that and see if that'll give us the length that we need. Um, and being the floor here is, there's a lot of plants here. I don't think you'll really notice the bottom if it's not quite as long as what we would like for it to be. I think it'll be fine. So we'll just hang it up as far as we can and then we'll take this hem out which should be really easy, and then we'll hang them up. All right, so there you can kind of see the length of the curtains um, down there at the bottom. So I think they'll be fine. Um, so that's one. And then I'll also go ahead and iron them, you know, get them um, ready to be hung up. Um, Weston is helping again. Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead and get that done to the rest of the curtains and get them hung up. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get them hung up. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And just to kind of get that finishing touch over here on the windows, kind of make it feel a little bit more cozy and a little more cozy. What do you think? I'm gonna go ahead and put all the curtains on the rods. I have six curtain panels total. And then as I'm hanging them up, I'm trying to hide the brackets kind of hiding them in between the folds, if that makes sense. That way they're just a little more seamless and you don't see those brackets um, peeking out. And I like how that looks a lot better. So here is how they look all hung up. Now for the last thing that we're gonna be doing in today's video is, like I mentioned, the fridge was way over against the wall and I'd wanted to do something to make so that the fridge doors can finally be opened all the way because they were always banging against the wall. And when we got our new fridge, I was like, why don't we do something, try to figure something out to make this work a little bit better. So the only thing we could figure out was to move this one cabinet here, move this over against the wall and just switch it with where the fridge was. And the way everything was set up, um, it didn't look like it would be too difficult. You know, nothing like electrical or the water line or anything had to be moved majorly. Um, so it looked pretty simple, basically just switching it around. We did have, you know, a couple hiccups. We were, had to figure out how the cabinet was put in. That way we could take it you know apart that way and we wanted to use it again so we didn't want to mess it up only thing was here there was like three or four layers of flooring that was down before um, here's a peek of the beautiful wallpaper that was behind the cabinets um, obviously probably the first wallpaper that was hung in this house after it was built but 
the three or four layers of flooring will be under the fridge so you won't be able to see that um, and I think it'll be fine. We're just moving the fridge over to where the other cabinet was, moving the cabinet over, making sure everything fits in there before we screw everything in place and make everything a little more permanent. So everything fit. It was a pretty snug fit, um, but this way it just looks a little more thought out and maybe actually like it was supposed to be this way. Um, so Lamar is just, again, screwing in the cabinets into the studs, making sure everything is nice and solid. Uh, the cabinets aren't going anywhere. Just moving the fridge back in um, after we hooked up the water and everything. And I am loving how this is. Um, it, it works so much better than the other way. And the fridge doors open all the way and everything works so much better and more seamless. Now I'm just moving all of the things back into the cabinets. I'm just adding in my spices and everything over here on this end. So all in all, this worked out really well, just switching this around and just giving it um, a little bit of a different look and making it work a little bit better for us until we renovate the kitchen. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me um, as we were finishing up a few things out here in the kitchen. I hope to see you next time. Bye.